ZDT's amusement park is an interesting complex in Seguin, Texas. This place is located 35 miles east of San Antonio, and it dabbles in a bit of everything. You have an indoor area with some arcade games and active attractions. You also have an outdoor area with a big go-kart track and some flat rides. Then more notably, you have a handful of water slides and the switchback wooden roller coaster. So in this video, I will rank the top 10 attractions at ZDT's. Number 10, Parachute Drop. This is a six story tall drop tower from Zamperla. You get multiple drops, several of which bounce you down. It's not too forceful, even by junior drop tower standards, but it does offer some of the best views of this ultra compact park. And I like the topper that pays homage to the parachute rides of the past. Number nine, Rock Wall. This is a 25 foot or eight meter tall rock wall located entirely indoors. It's pretty average, but it's completely overshadowed by something else that'll appear later on this list. Number eight, Viper. This is an enjoyable dinghy water slide. No significant drops, but you have decent speed and some of the turns are deceptively wild. You will sway up a few of them, leading to a soaking splash or two. Number seven, the Mad Raft Water Coaster. This is the weakest water coaster I've ridden, but that still makes an above average water slide overall and something you wouldn't expect to see from an FEC. The uphill ascents are slow and small, so it feels a bit like a gimmick, but there's at least one small dip that sneaks up on you and gives a little pop of airtime. Number 6, Thunderbolt Speedway Go-Karts. This is an interesting set of go-karts. They are half indoors, half outdoors. In case of inclement weather, the course is abridged and located entirely indoors, but if the weather is clear, you have a multi-story track, the electric carts have above average speed, and when combined with a more involved course, this is a fun ride to race your friends. Number 5, Max Flight Simulator. This is an old but cool simulator similar to the old Cyberspace Mountain at Disney Quest. You can design your own coaster with a few different elements, and I strongly recommend picking as many inversions as possible. While the drops and turns don't offer any force, the inversions deliver sweet hang time. Number 4, the Dizzy Toucan. This is a little Zamperla Frisbee. It's no more than three stories tall, and it looks like a kiddie ride, but it has a long cycle with lots of quick airtime pops. Few rides anywhere offer more instances of negative Gs, and the downswings of a pinch of force too. Number three, Silo Climb. This is a massive six story tall rock wall affixed to the side of a silo. It's decently challenging, as it's the tallest rock wall I've done by far, and the height gets freaky towards the end, especially as the spacing between handholds increases. Number 2, Viper's Tail. This is a shockingly good water slide. You ride on a mat and experience a triple down. The first two are small, but the third drop is fantastic. There's no curve into it, just an abrupt drop off, so you're likely going airborne. Few water slides give better airtime. And coming in, number 1 is Switchback. This is the ride that put this park on the map with coaster enthusiasts. This is a gravity group wood coaster weaving its way around and through some old buildings. This leads to some fun near misses and the lack of space led to the ride's most unique feature, the shuttle aspect. The spike and reverse bunny hills offer a bit of a falling sensation, but the airtime is definitely stronger on the outward leg. You get a pop of flagector airtime on the drop, sustained floater on the following hill, and two or so abrupt pops on the smaller humps. I made a review for this coaster after my 2020 rides, but it is worth noting the coaster has developed a very noticeable shuffle in the turns and valleys. Hopefully that can be corrected with some track work in the near future before the experience gets any rougher. It's perfectly fine for one or two rides, but it can take its toll on you now if you try to marathon it. So those are the top 10 attractions at ZDT's amusement park. Is Switchback your favorite as well? Let me know your thoughts on any of the attractions I mentioned or any I may have missed down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.